certainly disappointed in our outcome today, um, but you know another hard fought, a hard fought battle with Drexel today, and uh, we just didn't uh, you know measure up to our level today. At the end there, when you were able to get close, but then you know they they, they, they took the lead again. What what do you think happened in that last stretch? I mean, we seem like a little one step behind most of the day. Um, the stat sheet kind of shows when we have only 10, 10 team assists, and they had, had 19, and we like to be around 19 and 20. Um, that we just couldn't quite flow, find the flow and find a rhythm, and that's just um, you know that's on us, and that, that's kind of what we were just talking about. Like um, you know, last year we stole two for them and then lost it in the big time. You know, we just got to keep finding out things about ourselves, knowing how to adjust because we had chances in this game even as poorly as we were doing, we still had chances, and uh, you know I think that's that's what that's a little bit about of our youth and a little bit of our immaturity at times, and, and we're growing so. Uh, you know, that's kind of what our focus is, 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 you know, for us to keep figuring it out. And Ayla, you went up against Pearson and Thompson a lot in this game. What were you seeing from them in the team? Um, are you talking on the offense? Uh, uh, offense and defense. Um, I mean, it was, um, it was a little bit of a challenge for me because um, um, Thompson, she is more of like, she doesn't stay in the pants a lot, so I had to come out and get her outside the pants. So that kind of like um, take me out of the position to help my team a lot on defense and to rebound. So that was a challenge for me. And then on offense, I just like take it to her. She's going to find me and stuff like that. Change the game plan at all because you knew Thompson was somebody who comes out a lot and, and saves the top of the key even though she's a forward? I mean, it was the same in the last game too. Though we just, um, you know, played played her pretty much much the same, to be honest. So she was hitting her shots a little bit more and, and got a little more isolated, pop, you know, times on on E. But I mean, she pretty much has been playing the same, you know, all all, um, all year long. They run the same system the way they run it. So, uh, you know, so I mean, like I said, in these kind of things, they had they came ready to play. They had what end up with four people in double figures. Um, they were hitting their shots. We shot poorly. We shot 33% on our court. They shot 44. Uh, we shot poorly. We were bouncing the ball around the perimeter, not getting really to the paint as well. We did in the first half. The second half, we weren't getting to the paint. Um, there were stretches of runs. You know, we, we gave them a couple stretches of runs. They were 10-0, 12-0 run. They did it two times in the ball game. And um, you know, so this is it. And this is kind of where we are. And, and this is the, the growing part of who we are. So we just got to get back to the drawing board. We can't mess around for this Sunday. We got a big one. It's our next one. So. You know, we're ready to bounce back. What did they do defensively in the second half to take the paint away? Yeah, uh, these guys can talk about it too, being inside. I mean, she can. I mean, you saw how they were, you know, migrating like crazy when the ball's coming in. They were anticipating the ball coming in. They were, you know, doubling and tripling. They tried to do a good job on Nay. Even with all that on Nay, she still ends up getting, you know, 12 points and 10 boards. And, you know, he gets 15 points and, and 12 boards. We should have got the ball inside. You know, you're not talking about the obvious thing on the stat sheet. We, we threw up 22 uh, three-pointers. So, our guards didn't play well today. Was well, it? I mean, I thought Darius did a good job of trying to run the ship. You know, other than that, we played we played pretty poorly, and we didn't get the ball inside enough. Was it a matter of shot selection, or was it just uh, they weren't falling in today? How would you? Would I you mean, like, there, like Darius is pretty good hit on the It was um, shot selection. A lot of that, we were just tossing out the first shot we got instead of just swinging the ball. And maybe, <coughs> you know, so everything was bouncing off the rim, and then it just threw off everything. Was that in part due to their defense, or because you were behind, did you feel a little rushed at times? Um, I feel it was both. We felt like we couldn't get some things on their defense, because they would be just sagging in every time we penetrated. It was doubling and tripling, and then things were like just falling. So. Coach, they seem to always have an answer. A couple of times they got freed up yeah. for open layups down low. Was that right. a credit to their cuts or defensive breakdowns? Yeah, we got caught a little bit watching. We didn't do that to them at their place, and uh, you know, Darius can talk about that a little bit too, because we got caught watching. We kept, you know, we got caught watching the action going over there with a three-man game, and then they just made a big cut. So I mean, kudos to them making that reads off the film, and you know, us, we just got to be more disciplined. I mean, I think that was the key. Folks came in, even our, our bench didn't give us what we needed. Where folks came in and were just undisciplined, you know, and uh, uh, you know, it, it's it's nice to to know this the, the things that you have to improve as a team. That's, that's the, the the twist I'm just trying to explain to this crew is, you know, we know we we're, we're aware. You know, we're not in denial. We know what we need to keep improving on. Now it's just it's just this course. You know, we want to be sitting where we need to be sitting come March. Um, so we certainly can, uh, you know, we certainly can't, um, you know, not keep improving individually and as a team.
you know, with the schedule upcoming, obviously, you have a little road trip and then you're finally back home, but it seems like all signs point to JMU. What's the biggest thing this team needs to improve on to compete with a top team like them? We need to beat William & Mary, I know that's for sure. I can worry, none of us are looking ahead on that one. Um, you know, so, that, that, you know, that, that's it. I mean, that, at this point, you know, like I even said on the telecom show the other day, it's like it's not even about that. You know, it's about, you know, we have no seniors. We have a really good ball team that can do a lot of damage and do a lot of damage come March. So we have to, you know, we just need to, to be better at the things that we're not, you know, doing very well at right now and, you know, be ready to take care of the next, the next you know, opponent and then, you know, go from there because we have a good Elon team. There's a lot of really good teams that we've got to face yet to, to JMU. So, but that's it. Thank you. Any other questions? Thanks. 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 Thanks.